Good afternoon. Name is Bruce, call sign G4ABX. What follows is a short video that explains the outcome of some investigations I've been doing into various BUCK converters, that's B-U-C-K converters, which are used to transform high voltage, anything up to 40 volts, down to low voltage, 5 volts, without very much loss in terms of power consumption for the device doing the conversion. Much more efficient than, for example, a series or parallel converter, passive uh, device converters. Um, the downside can be RFI generation, which for mobile operation and portable operation is not very desirable. And, and this video details one that I've found very inexpensive that works extremely well and doesn't seem to give the problems of many. Uh, for supporting information, please go and take a look at my website, uh, g4abx.co.uk. Uh, there's quite a bit more information there on the range of buck converters that I've tested. All the best, and I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you find this video useful. 73s. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Continuing my range of subjects associated with getting portable amateur radio equipment on the air, um, I've done a bit of work in researching different types of buck converter. Um, there are a large number of buck converters, and a buck converter, for those of you that don't know, takes essentially a higher voltage input generally and converts it down to a lower voltage, often 5 volts to enable you to run computer equipment and the like, from um, a standard 13.8 volt or anything up to 40 volt power supply, um, which covers the range of different uh, battery supplies, uh, 3S, 4S, 5S combinations of uh, different cells. And the, the, the one I'm holding in my hand, uh, the Zeiting RC Servo Beck, as it's called, this fellow here, a serial number is X001447KIJ, um, is really intended for radio-controlled helicopters. Uh, they apparently need five volts <laughs> from the uh, from the battery supply, and often a LiPo, a lithium polymer battery, and if it's a 4S or 3S battery, it could be anything from 11 point something to 16 point something volts to get down to 5 volts and maybe to run the servos uh, on the uh, helicopter. Um, having done lots of research over the last 12 months into different um, types of buck converter, this has become my favourite. Uh, this is the third one I've bought and I thought we'd take this one, at least take the caseworks off so we can have a look and see what's inside, um, how it's put together and maybe find out a reason for it being quite so good as it is. It's pretty inexpensive. I think this is less than £10 still on Amazon. Uh, and as I say, this is the third one I've bought. So I've taken the... Uh, I've snipped the end off. <laughs> so we'll just extract the thing from its caseworks. And oh, there's a label on here. Let me take that off. So the label says... UBEC input 5 to 23 volts, output 3 amps 5 volts. In terms of output 3 amps 5 volts, yes, I can confirm it will give you 3 amps at 5 volts for a period of time, but I've tested this, uh, well, not this particular one, but another one uh, of the same type um, for a week, running 2.5 amps into uh, a Raspberry Pi, doing all kinds of tasks just to make sure a Raspberry Pi 4, which is the heaviest in terms of power consumption, just to make for sure it can do all the things that uh, I wanted it to do. And from a portable point of view, reliability is really very important. So let's just cut off the plastic that's covering everything. There we go. So there's um, a shrink wrap. It's taken on the form of the uh, devices, so it's a, it's a shrink wrap, clear plastic, quite rubbery, 
So probably quite good in terms of compliance and protection. And we're left now with the device um, unsheathed, as it were. Uh, got a, a plug on the end here. Uh, I, I've used this plug um, for the Raspberry Pi, but I've generally replaced this piece of wire, and as well as replacing the piece of wire uh, with a slightly longer one, uh, I've added uh, uh, between 10 and 13 turns of this cable uh, around a suitably small toroid uh, so as to give some additional common mode rejection. Uh, and that seems to have helped uh, a little bit. Although I have to say the device is not very RF noisy in the first place. Um, you struggle to detect harmonics from it, which is absolutely not the same as other buck converters I've, I've tried. So uh, this is the inductor. It looks like a hundred microhenries um, for the inductor. So this probably runs, well, I don't know, I need to try and find out what the capacitor values are and they're, they're, they're not obvious. Um, and I won't disassemble this because I want to use it. <laughs> but I thought we'd just have a look. Um, this 50, mic 50 volt, 56 microfarad decoupling capacitor is on the input. But the most interesting bit of information that I wanted to find out, I shall just put my uh, stereoscopic uh, spy glasses on and I'll have a good look at this, see if I can identify without sticking my head under the camera to cover it all up for you, see if I can identify what the actual semiconductor device is. Yes, MP2307CN is the device. So that's the switching regulator that's doing all the work essentially with the in comparison with the tuned circuit which will be the inductor and, and probably one of these capacitors. Uh, there's also a beefy diode underneath there. That diode is probably uh, to prevent um, reverse polarity uh, connection causing it a problem. Um, it, it will also drop a bit of voltage of course, you know, 0.7 of a volt, something like that. But um, that is the uh, that is the complete buck converter uh, and it's really small. So just to give you an idea, it's two and a half centimeters by one centimeter, and it's about one centimeter tall. So two and a half by one by one centimeter. And that installs very nicely actually inside my Raspberry Pi case uh, because it's so small, which means I can have 12 volts come into the Raspberry Pi and not worry about the 5 volts. So it, it means I don't have to have anything but 12 or 13 and a half volts, as it happens, um, with my portable batteries. And again, that makes it uh, really easy not having to worry about uh, finding 5 volts. So, great little piece of kit, under a tenner, I think, when I bought this one, uh, and available from uh, <laughs> the well-known online store. Um, so, uh, if you want to try it out, uh, I wish you every success. It's certainly been successful for me. Thanks very much. Just a short one for today. 73 is all the best. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.